When it comes to marketing your videos, there's no better platform than YouTube. It gets millions of viewers every month and has been a very useful, cost-efficient marketing tool for many online businesses today. It's really simple to use as well. All you need to do is sign up for a YouTube account with your existing Google Plus login information, and you can start publishing videos at no extra cost. Also, sign up is so quick that you can have your first video up within just a few minutes. For now, let's talk through some basic account and channel settings. Think of this as a beginner's guide to YouTube for people who are looking to use the platform to grow their list or market their online business and services. Without further ado, let's get started. First, you want to sign in to your YouTube account. Then, on this panel over here, select My Channel. As you can see, this account I have here is relatively new and bare. This is pretty much what any new account would look like. The exception here is that I've uploaded just one test video down here. Anyway, first thing you want to do is add a channel icon. But if you click on this edit icon here, this will pop up. Your channel icon is linked to your Google Plus account. So just change the icon on your Google Plus account and after a few minutes, your channel icon here will follow suit. Besides that, you can also include channel art in this section here. YouTube channel art is similar to Facebook's cover photo function. To add or change channel art, what you want to do is click on the edit icon in this top right corner and then select edit channel art. Then here you can either upload a photo or select one from your Google Plus photos or gallery. Typically, you want your channel art to be something which has your website URL and channel name on it. You can change your channel art as often as necessary too. For now, I'm just going to leave this as it is. Now let's move on to this About tab over here. Again, this YouTube account is fairly new and untouched, so there's not much info filled up yet. On this page, the first thing you want to tweak is your channel description. Just click on this button and type out a few lines to describe what your channel is about. Talk about who you are, what you do, and what you're passionate about. Anything to give your potential subscribers a clearer idea of what to expect from you. And once you've filled that up, you want to also include an email address for business inquiries. You want to also specify your location or the country you're broadcasting from. And down here, you can insert some links for your subscribers to connect with you. I'd recommend you insert links to your website, company blog if you have one, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also choose to include an overlay of your links on your channel art if your channel art doesn't already display your links. And once you've inserted your relevant links, go ahead and click this blue button here. So far, we've focused on customizing your YouTube channel for customer viewing. However, there's a lot more that you can edit that isn't necessarily seen by your audience, but still helps you when it comes to winning the marketing game. I want you to click on this video manager tab up here. This will bring you to the YouTube Creator Studio. On the left side column, let's first click on the channel. Under Status and Features, the main thing you want to do here is verify your account. You will just need to click on this button here and follow the steps. Once you're verified, that will give you access to a wider range of functions as your account matures and gets more subscribers. Moving on, click on Upload Defaults. You'll see that you can set the default privacy of your videos. If you're intending to build a list with YouTube, you want to have this on Public, always. You can also select a default category as listed here. You also may want to have some default tags. Say your channel focuses on meditation or fitness, you can preset relevant tags here so that you don't have to manually tag your new videos all the time. Let's move on straight to the Advanced tab here. 
You want to focus on this part here, channel keywords. To help your channel and videos turn up in more searches, you want to include as many relevant keywords. So again, if your channel has to do with fitness, just type in different fitness-related keywords here. You might also want to uncheck this box down here so that you don't have advertisements played along with your videos on YouTube. This is especially important if the video you're putting up is also an advertisement of sorts. Next, if you have an AdWords account, you can link it here. AdWords helps you promote your videos and track your bids and is just a really good tool for anyone who deals with videos, marketing, and advertising. Once you finish linking your AdWords and YouTube account, scroll downwards and hit save. Now, I want to take you through some extra tweaks that you can make to your videos. This will be the final section of this video tutorial. Let's click on the Video Manager drop-down menu. As you can see here, I've only got this one video on here. Once you've uploaded your own video, I want you to click on the Edit drop-down menu and select Info and Settings. On this page, you'll see these stats here just general information about the video you uploaded. And here you can select different thumbnails for your video. If you scroll down, you'll see that you can edit the title and description of your video. You can also add keywords and tags here and change your privacy over here. Pretty basic stuff. But if you click on this Call to Action Overlay tab, this is something that can come in super handy for anyone who wants to build their list. What you have here is the option to include a call to action for your viewers in an annotation-like pop-up. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This Call to Action Overlay is an ideal way to send people to your squeeze page. So go ahead and include a headline. Let's say, get your free report here. If you've got a product image, you can upload it here too. For the display URL field, you want to type in your homepage or company website URL. This will create a link which people can click on. Then over here in the destination URL field, insert the link to your squeeze page. This way, whenever someone clicks on the link displayed, it will send them to your squeeze page instead. And you might want to uncheck this box here as diverting mobile users to squeeze pages has rarely ever been a good idea. And once you're done here, just click Save Changes. And let's just play the video here to see how our call to action looks. And there it is. Now, when people click on this button here, instead of going to your home page, they'll be sent straight to your squeeze page. From there on, you just have to let your squeeze page and autoresponder collect the email addresses. It's a really easy way to grow your list, and it's often overlooked by people who are just starting out in the list building game. There's a lot more to YouTube configuration, but to get started, these are the basics, which you should look to tweak. Once all that is done, you can move on to working with cards and annotations and making full use of YouTube's Creator Studio. Well, that's all there is to it. I hope you've learned some new things and all the best with your video marketing efforts.